AI software being developed to make people sound whiter. I kid you not. So Silicon Valley, of course, there's a startup called Sanus, has a lofty goal. The goal is to make call center workers sound more like white people, no matter what country they are from. Here's a demo of the software. Hi, this is Alex from the customer service aid. How are you today? Great to hear, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for asking. So how can I help you today? I'm so sorry about that. I'll be glad to help you. Can I get your full name, phone number and address to check in on that order? Do you happen to have the order number so I can bring up your order? Thank you. Let me check on the status of your order. Please give me a minute to check on that. All right, let's dig into it. Um, since it's August 2021 launch, Sanus has been showered with funding from investors amid a trying time for the tech industry. The Accent Translation Company, founded by three former Sanford students, snagged a 32 million series a funding round in June 2022 which they claim is the largest ever for a speech technology service, big money. One press release boasts that the investors who tried the service called it, and I quote, magical. Eventually, the company wants to expand beyond call centers by changing accents of consumer video and audio calls. Sanis has even mentioned an interest in film and television. New voices are in the works too, someday workers accents may be translated into Southern drawl. Yep, Southern drawl, isn't that interesting? Uh, we're not sure exactly, and let, let me say this. We're not sure exactly where the line starts and stops because there's similar technology that has been around for some years, right? Now this is that technology being utilized in a more formal and professional manner and obviously more updated. Um, so at this point, the Southern drawl for caller in Louisville uh, or a Midwestern um, accent for someone in Cleveland instead of a more generic standard American English. And so they're trying to do this thing in, in a way that's you know tailor made, I guess. Put up the picture of the guy behind it, he's the president. All right, this is the president. His name is Marty Sarim. He told, uh, he said, and I quote, we don't want to say that accents are a problem because you have one. They're only a problem because they're, they cause bias and they cause misunderstandings. Uh, so the promise of Sanus seems to be that callers will be more polite and more amenable to being helped if they think the person on the other end is more like them. An expert actually disagrees, that's, that's complete hogwash. Uh, Winfred Poster, who's a professor of social, sociology at Washington University, has done extensive research on call center workers, including how they experience harassment and what they try to do to mitigate it. On the surface, it reflects communication difficulty, people not being able to understand someone else's speech. But really, it's coded for a whole bunch of other issues about how accent triggers racism. That's what it does, it triggers racism. So when an individual hears someone on the other side that may not sound like them, well, they get upset or irritated because of their own internal bias, their own internal racism. And instead of challenging those individuals to transform to a better version of themselves, we would simply prefer to de-evolve to a worse version of us. That doesn't make sense. That's not how you fix things in a society. AB, what are your thoughts on this? Well, how about this? Why don't we just pay Americans um, the proper wages that they deserve to do these jobs so that we don't have to send them overseas and we don't even have to worry about this, right? We don't have to be concerned about biases because the people who will answer the phone will just be Americans. Interesting note. 